At 6-4, and four, the UChicago men's soccer team has all of their conference play ahead of them in the last eight games of the season. Their team is very deep and has a great deal of experience with 10 seniors, while at the same time, their underclassmen have contributed this year as well. Substitutions occur often throughout their games, and this kind of depth has allowed them to put up some very high-scoring matches. The Maroons have only three more home games left this season. The next one is this Saturday at 11 a.m., where UChicago will host conference rival Carnegie Mellon. Hi, I'm Kathleen Combe. I'm here with men's soccer coach Babst. Now, Coach, you guys have your first conference game uh, this weekend at Carnegie Mellon at home, um, and the majority of the rest of your schedule is conference play. So is there a lot of pressure having all these UAA games uh, at the end of your season, and what's it like for you guys playing in the UAA conference? The UAA is just a, a great league. It's probably the most competitive league in Division Three, And at this point in the season, Playing against probably four or five ranked teams down the stretch, it's uh, if we want to be relevant as an NCAA tournament team, then we have to be able to get results against the best teams. So it's it's the challenge that we want. And it's just a question of whether September has prepared us for it. And uh, you know, I think we're in a good spot, and hopefully, start getting some guys back and healthy. And um, you know, it's it's going to be it's just week to week. Every game, every game is going to be a, a fight for us. Yeah. Now. Coach, what's it like with so many seniors, you have 10 of them, what's the leadership dynamic been like? Who stepped up and uh, led the team in ways you weren't expecting? Uh, we've had great leadership since this, uh, pretty much since the season ended last year. So uh, Kyle Kerr first is our captain. He's, he's been a great captain, but we've really, it's been spread out among the other nine seniors. Uh, I think all the guys have taken a lot of ownership in what's going on. And, you know, I think recognizing that this is their last chance to go through mm -hmm. conference, there's a little bit of desperation for them to maybe have some more success than they've had their previous three years. So uh, I think the urgency is trickling down to the underclassmen. And uh, all, of, all the seniors have had a voice at some point during the season. Right. Now, your younger classmen, uh, they've really been able to contribute this year. Um, what are you expecting to see from them in the last stretch of the season and in the future years to come? Uh, well, down the stretch, for them to play like seniors, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially the freshmen to step up. and mm -hmm. uh, They've got a number of really tough games under their belt. I think they're, they're ready for this competition. And they, just, they have to have the same urgency that our seniors have. They can't play with, um, they can't be relaxed at all or think that this is only their freshman or sophomore year. They've... They've got four chances to do it, and it's, it goes away pretty quickly. So um, I think that they've all grown. It's just growing up as a competitor and realizing that you just, every day you've got to step out there, and it's, uh, you, you've got to earn it against a really good opponent. So we, I think through the challenges of September, these guys should be more of a veteran presence than looking like freshmen or sophomores. Great. Coach, thank you so much for your time. Thanks a lot. I'm here with men's soccer senior captain Kyle Kerfurst and senior Kevin Matheny. So, Kevin, your team's a very close-knit group. I've heard from the women's soccer team that FIFA is a pretty big deal. Um, other than that, what is it about your team and your teammates that brings you guys so close together? Well, I think there's a lot of things that go into it for us. Um, <clears throat> the women's team is right. We did have a, a FIFA tournament, and a lot of that sort of stuff goes on. We watch movies together. We always... Uh, we do dinners together. We try to get that going once, once a week, once every two weeks. And especially during preseason, I think we have an advantage over other schools because we don't start classes yet. So we spend a lot of time together just in the dorms, uh, you know, eating, sleeping, playing video games. And I think that that time period before school starts is a huge advantage for us because it does allow us to become very close-knit and sort of get to know each other as, as friends, not just as teammates. And it sort of translated over onto the field because we have a sort of deeper understanding of what we want to do, who we are as people, and, and who we are as, as players and workers. And, and that allows us to, you know, sort of click when the time comes on the field. Right. Now, Kyle, you guys had a very successful uh, late win against Carthage this past weekend. How are you going to keep up that momentum coming in this Saturday against 6-3 uh, and three Carnegie Mellon? Yeah, um... Excuse me. Um, yeah, so Carnegie Mellon, uh, every conference game is going to be tough. Really, their record doesn't matter. Uh, we're just trying to focus on ourselves this week. Um, one 
point of focus is competing. Um, that's something that we've been striving towards all season. We can always get better at, but just compete for every ball, every header, every tackle. Um, and that's just really, you know, on each player himself. And we're also just looking for, whether it's offensively or defensively, different guys to step up in different moments. We had that uh, against Carthage. That was huge. Um, and so that's something that we're looking for moving forward. We've got a few injuries, but a lot of guys throughout the year have been able to step up. So it really comes down to competing, and from there, um, hopefully we can just take care of the rest of the, the other parts of the game. Yeah. Now, uh, your season's coming into its final stretch. So both of you, what are some of your goals for the rest of this season, um, especially coming into all of your conference play? I'll let Kyle go first on that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so as I said, more abstractly, it's just sort of to – get the best out of our team every time we step on the mm -hmm. field. Um, and more concretely, it would be to win the UAAs, win conference. That's a huge goal. Our senior class, we've never done that. And so that's something that we've been uh, reaching for this whole season. Right. Kevin, how about you? Yeah, I, I think what Kyle's saying is 100% our team's sole focus. Uh, but to sort of build on that, winning the UAAs means that we're going to go to the, um, the NCAA tournament, which is – Something that we haven't done yet as seniors here, uh, you know, the past three, four seasons we haven't gone to the tournament. Um, so that's obviously an amazing experience that we've yet to have, and we're really looking forward to competing, competing as hard as we can to get there. Um, so even from day to day, I think one of the things that, you know, one of the goals that Kyle and I have in the rest of our senior class in particular is just to make sure that every single training session, every single time we get together as a team, we're competing as hard as we can, and we're leaving the field with no regrets because, you know, this, this is a finite amount of time we have to really achieve what we want to. Right. Thank you both so much.